Jennies, welcome back. It's me, Jenny. How is everyone doing today? Okay, I'm going to show you guys a really quick video. I know this is going to be like super quick, but I want to show you how to make these really fun bows that I created out of um, orange yarn that I bought at Tuesday morning. I got this bright, bright, bright orange um, yarn and um, it wasn't clearance. It was like, I don't know, 20% off. Um, the original price was $4. You can find these anywhere. Um, AC Moore, Michaels, anywhere. Even the Dollar Tree sells yarn now. So you can find them anywhere. I'm going to show you how to make these. These are super fun. These are perfect for like a Halloween project. You can use these as uh, maybe um, in a... Um, what do I, where do I have them? I don't have them with me. But you can use them as uh, paper clips or you can use them as maybe wands or um, just a cute little embellishment to your project, really fun. It literally takes no time. So let me show you what I'm going to, um, how to put these together. Um, again, you're gonna use a, a, your choice, whatever color you want. I have this one that I absolutely feel is so appropriate. I found this um, Christmas one. Oh my God, I can't wait to do the Christmas series. I know, I know. I'm way ahead of myself this year, but I think it's a good thing. Okay, I can't really tell you how much you're going to need because that really depends on how big you want your bows to be. I could, however, tell you that if you want your bows to be big, then I would just use as a template one of these like you know gift cards that you have and you're just gonna basically have this help you create your little bow now if you want your bow to be a little bit smaller in size my recommendation is just cut this in half and then use that you know one half to make it smaller for the video I'm going to show you using this one because I think it's bigger and you might get you know a better view so what you do is take your yarn and you're basically going to wrap this around. Now, I personally like to count because I want my yarns to be like all the same sizes. So I roughly do about 20 to 21 um, turns and then I stop. So what I do is I, again, I wrap this around my gift card and I start counting. One, two, three, four, okay um, you don't have to be exact this is something that as you play around with this then you will know how big you want your bows to be again I kind of like figured out for me 20 is a good size I try to um, when I wrapped it around if you can see there I try to just kind of like go next to each other like I don't I try not to like go over it I try to go like right next to it giving yourself a nice little like layer like that okay I found that my bows look better that way than versus just going around like that you know what I mean okay cut this out here a good size you also going to need another piece to wrap your bow so cut another good amount okay and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold holding it here and holding one end and holding the other end you're slowly and very carefully going to pull it out from the gift card and you're going to get something okay you're gonna get something like this see that A little ball of yarn like that with the one that we just cut you're going to wrap this around the center of your little ball and you're going to make a nice little tie knot making sure that is centered correctly see and you're just gonna make a nice tight knot and then you're gonna go and make another one just to secure it nice and tight okay and then you basically have your bow right there now you're going to take your scissors 
and you're going to cut open the sides of your bow just like this just go right through your scissors and cut these sides open And you're going to fluff them up and then you're going to go on the opposite side and do the same thing. You're going to fluff them up. Okay. Now, this is the time that you get, you come and you start trimming. See how they have, you have longer pieces. You're going to start trimming them out to the size that you want. So just basically go trim crazy. Don't go too trim too much trim crazy because then your bow will be short. But just make sure that your yarn is, you know, kind of like leveled the same. It's not going to be always perfect, but it's going to be, you're going to make it as perfect as you can. Okay, I think mine's are good the way they are. Now that we have our little bow all shaped up beautifully, you're gonna take another trim. I have this one that I bought at Michael's last year. You guys remember this, right? We went crazy buying this when they had them on clearance. And I love using this one right here, which is this one, see? I don't know, it just gives it a really pretty look to the bow. I love it. You can use any trim. It doesn't have to be this one, but I really love using this one. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm basically just going to cut a little piece just to wrap it around the center of my bow. Big enough that it's, you know, wraps around. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hot glue and I'm going to glue this down. A tab of hot glue glue your ribbon or your trim down and then you're going to come around and you're going to trim you're going to glue down the other end Bring the other end over and you're going to glue this end down and if you have anything that you need to trim out this is the time to do it I'm going to trim a little bit this end right here just a tab there you go and that is how you create these bows <laughs> literally in like in like less than five minutes see that Look how cute these look. I love them. These kind of look like the ones that, um, what is the new collection that Maggie Holmes came up with? I think it's called Widow Lane. She has something similar to this in that collection. I mean, it's almost the same thing. It's not really a big, it's not hard to make. It really isn't. It just takes a little bit of time. But you see how simple it is. You see that? How cute are these? Aren't these adorable to use for embellishments? Yes! And you can use different ribbons. See this one in the middle? I used a different one. For this one, I used, um, I don't know where's my ribbon, but I used a different ribbon for that one. I don't know where it is, but I used a different ribbon for this one. For this one, right here, I used this ribbon right here. So just go crazy, just put, you know, I mean, take out your ribbons and just go nuts. And make a whole bunch of these. These are super adorable to have. You can do so many things with this. I'm going to show you guys on the next video what to do with this and a few ideas that I have for you on how to use these. Okay? I hope you like this video, my loves. Make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. I love you all. Thank you so much for returning to my channel. And thank you so much for your support. And I will see you on my next video. Have a fantastic week.